Welcome to 99 boxes. As far as the favors and assets are concerned on this map, prototype bags are king. Longer degradation for high-tech devices is basically required if you want to walk out of here with two A-plus quality containers. You can do it without, usually, but it kind of requires it to be a pretty good spawn and for you to sprint the entire time and run into no guards around along the route and just get prototype bags. If you're looking for that full, beautiful pull, bring these. If you don't have them, I don't know, man, just learn the map, work on it, hang out. Go for a full pull, maybe, but you know, rough. Open container, awful. One container that could contain the high-tech devices will be open. This just means the door is open. As far as I know, you still need to do the security hack if it happens to be the container you're looking for, but it can also be the ones that are unlocked with money in them that take half a second to open anyway. Awful. Uh, zipline bag is a great asset. It puts the zipline where it needs to be, like right next to where you need to drop it off when you figure out what yard you're going to. Uh, just means you don't have to move the zipline. I'm going to take that for this because I'm not going to use a prototype bag. I'm not looking to get an A-plus run here. I'm just showing you guys how it's done. As usual, guns with silencers is my only real requirement for stealth. And even then, you don't need them. You can use a throwing knife. You can intimidate guards. There's a thousand ways to not need to shoot a man. Shoot a man's kind of fun, though. All right, 99 boxes has got a really, really easy opener. Uh, the front right-hand side of the building is where I like to go. You can spawn front left, but it's not hard to run over. At the beginning, every single time, this guard will be here, who you need to hack, and the head guard will be right here. So you can stick a device to him. I like to use a motion tracker. I have cameras on right now, but still useful. I'm just going for a challenge. Uh, hello? All right, so hack that camera, stick that to the lead guard. Try not to get seen by the camera or the lead guard while you hug this guy's ass. I could have hacked the second camera, but eh. It's not required. This guy will go play games on his phone in a few moments. Be right about now? There you go. So he'll come here and play games on his phone. If you're not particularly quick, you can get this code almost for free while he's playing Candy Crush or whatever the hell it is he does. Then we come here. I like to run along the outside of this, uh, what do I want to call it? Shipping yard, I guess? The central warehouse area. If you don't have the zipline bag asset, it'll be along the outside here somewhere in one of these, usually. Pretty easy to find. It could also be up in the vents, which has screwed me up in the past. The next guard will be around here somewhere. He's either over there, up the there, down here, or he'll be arriving in a moment from over There's there. The guard. Yeah, that looks like him. Uh, personally, I like to let him see me. I got to sit around for the hack hey, you, timer anyway, and area. I prefer to enter this no building from the front. Come on, I'll show you out. Which is where I'll mask up anyway. So oh. if I have to be with him, he may as well be taking me in the direction I want to go. And that's a really easy way to get both QR codes. I can hack his radio right now to make him forget where I am and who I am and that he's ever met me before in his life. And I could just run into the building right over there and start the next bit, but I don't like to enter from back here. There's a lot of cameras and a lot more guards on this side of the building, and the objectives are on that side of the building, so... You know? Like, why? Also, for time's sake, I probably should have been seen by him before I started the hack, as, uh, hack's over and we're not there yet. If I was in a hurry, I could hack him even now, right here, and then just leave. Please but stay I don't out know if I'll need areas, my hack okay? for screwing around with the nitrogen and shit in a second, so... We'll just save it. Headguard's over there. He just kind of patrols out here until you go into the warehouse building. Now that I've gone into the warehouse building, his patrol route will change, so he will come in here. There are three... Who's seeing me? You up top. Oh, you little bastard. There are three crates of liquid nitrogen out here, there, and two over here. 
one there and one over there. I'll be completely candid with you. I've already failed this explanation once. But news from the future. It's right here. What was that noise? I'm being pushed this way by a civvy who I don't want to see me. So we're going to turn that guard away real quick. Loop back around and try it again. Cool thing when you're picking this up, you can crouch after you've started the pickup and you'll keep picking it up. That will save you a lot of heartache. Because standing there in the open sucks ass. Just to show them off now that we have everything, the other two boxes uh, here and there. These are extraordinarily easy to get to. There's almost never anybody over here bothering you and you can just walk away for free. Uh, that stairwell, you can always just crouch walk up. The guy sweeping won't see you if you just walk. If you hesitate and freak out that he is seeing you, well, you'll have a bad time. I didn't want to shut the door on myself. This one I hate because I'm always stuck trying to hack this camera. There we go. So we need to find and hack the computer. It's not this one. Be aware that the guard that patrols this upstairs can see the computer when it's being hacked and he will alert and call. So you need to make sure that wherever he is, he's rotating the other way. So he's here right now. I need to lockpick that door and get to that computer. Spotted I door. need him to start going that way. And he is. So we're going to loop that. Then we'll break in here. And so long as he's leaving like he is, I know that he won't see this. And I can do it. So he's in the far one. He won't see this hack. Easy peasy. Just don't be in too much of a hurry. Because while this doesn't take too long, it's enough time to really screw up your heist. Plus, if I have to choose people to kill here, they're going to be in the last area, not the first area. So wasting a pager on him is just... It's fine, it's not beneficial. Great. The components are in the east storage yard. Okay, so east, which is unfortunate, side. because if it was in west, the zipline is right here. If it's in east, I gotta go all the way down to the other end. Over there. Oh, I wanted to shut the door and it was like, yeah, hack that radio. Okay, best route to get to this one is to go out that door. Watch the civ. But this civvy, he's got Spotted eyes in the back of his head. If you got the blue key card, you can take out security. Why didn't I need the key card for that? Why was this just unlocked? Anyway, uh, What's the guard? we're learning shit. Uh, best route is to go out that door and up over the truck. That's where the route up starts, but it's kind of a pain in the ass to get to sometimes. It's a combination of this guard and that civvy. So I'm already over it. Uh, I'm just going to go around. Guard. No, I'm not. He's moving. God damn it. Okay, we won't worry about that or whatever just happened. Watch the guard. See, so yeah, that door can be dangerous because there's a civvy there. But, um, you know. If you're extraordinarily lucky, you won't have to start re recording your guide. You can just go. All right, so no matter what side you go to, you need a zip line to get across. Uh, from here, if you get this courtyard, that one is closest to just getting it out into freedom. On the other side, there's another one that just drops it off next to the guard shack. Uh, I still usually kind of use this one. There's only two guards that patrol this area. The guard we originally hacked from and that guy we just saw walking back. It's very easy to walk out of here if you're not in too much of a rush. Now we need to find white containers. There are five of them in this area. They have predetermined spawns. Once you're kind of used to them, finding them is super easy. Uh, but you're looking for the two that are locked. One of them is down to my left. This one's That's locked. Right so we're going to use one of the two QR codes. 
you don't have to get the QR code if you had open locker and it happened to be this one. But like I said earlier, I don't really think that's worth it in the grand scheme of like getting the favor and two in fiving or one in fiving oh, out of the two there. that are good for you. It's just whatever. Forget that shit. So we get our QR codes. They're super easy to get as I showed off earlier. We're looking for two that are locked. That's one of them. There are three more that are not locked. Now, these are for full pull. I'm not going to be messing with them in this run. Oh, that's the other locked one. What a good time to show that off. Uh, there's one of the unlocked ones. That one doesn't have a lock on the front. There's money in there. And there's two more across the way over there that also have money in them because I know where the two locked ones are. his radio because I want to buy a little bit extra time and I don't know where that other guard went. Spotted a guard. There we go. Watch the guard. Don't want to get pinned anywhere. It's another one of those moments where I could have hacked him instead or I could use my one remaining throwing knife to make him look somewhere else. Which I think is totally worth it if you're in a hurry a but... Guard. I don't know what I might be dealing with towards the tail end of this map, and this really isn't one of those panicky moments like my first throwing knife was. There's someone there. Let's loop a bitch. Don't be too afraid of the civvies. If they see you and they get angry, it is what it is. You might just have to kill a motherfucker. But at least your run won't be over. Hey, this one opens. And these little circles, they're really not too bad. A lot of them are in extremely safe places. Like up here where no one will ever patrol, but might like barely see you from over there. Just take your time. Okay, good. You're it's really not that bad. It's not that, that hard. Uh, I'm not stopping this from degrading. I don't care. You can see the timer in the top left. Get the components to the truck. Started the guard. Started degrading. I will hack his radio because I'm not oh in oh, a hurry, but the guards there. This is a private area though, so I can sprint. So the degradation has already kicked in. We've lost one tick. But like I said earlier, I'm not trying to stop it from degrading. It's a cool little glitch where you can throw it against the side there and get it inside, but I haven't had the most luck with that either. Good. We're almost done. So there we go. We got that one in stage B. We were decently quick, but not quick enough. So, we've already seen that the head guard pat's out here, and he's over there now. So, let's figure out where he is. Saw that camera on him from earlier. He's too dummy thick to get marked, but we know that he's standing... ...right on the other side of this booth. Alright, Civvy, calm down. Spotted a guard. I'll fight you all, you think I won't. All right, now we'll push guard. back through. That's the guard from earlier. I don't think there's any way back up on top of this. I have to wait for him anyway, so... This is how you learn new shit. No, I don't see a way back up. It's like a one-way access. Guard. All right, now he's out of my way. Let's check again where this guy is. A very regretful tagging location. Makes it kind of hard to ping him. Watch the guard. Ah, it's where he was when I first got here. Wait, if that's a one-way, this is a one-way. Oh, they're all one-ways. That would make guard. sense. 
Now that I think about it, I've never taken the wall back on the other side. I just almost uh, never get this side. The guard? So, again, that's the truck over there we're looking to climb. So we hack a phone. And climb on in. Yes, yeah, so the head guard's route is now there to here to there. He's just blocking the other side of the wall to be a pain in the ass. That's the head guard's guard, job. There. Guard. Every time he moves, it's to a place that would theoretically be worse for you. At least that's supposed to be what it is. All right. So the second locked one is here. We'll pop this open. Much of the same as what we were doing before. We just go in, activate security, and wander between these security points. I don't much like places like this in back alleys because it's a lot harder to hide. But if I'm being honest with you, I usually get the other side. I don't know as much about this side. I don't want to make some terrible rookie decisions. Well, I'm trying to show you guys a guide for the map. Besides, I knew 99 boxes was already going to be a little bit longer than I wanted it to be. Just because of the kind of map it is. What's the guard? He's putting his smoke out, which means he'll leave. Unfortunately for me, he chose to leave in this direction. But there are two security hacks here, and I know he's leaving now, so I'm going to grab both of these for free. Should get us to our halfway point. There's a guard. Boom. Done. I'll go back to the high ground. I prefer the high ground. Less people can see me up here. Hmm. That's really up there. Right, so I'll go up here. I'll show you guys what this looks like just because I'm at one of them. This is a That's container right that container. does not have what you we're looking for, but if you are doing a full take, pull of the map, it has two tech. bags of money in it every time. There'll be two more of them over there. They're the other white containers, wherever they happen to be. I think there's one way down in that corner. And the other one I want to say is inside, like over there. If you're doing a full pull, it's just a matter of running six bags of cash back over the wall in the same route that we've been moving. Peace. Noise. Didn't think I'd draw two guards with that, but I... I'm sorry, I forgot that civvies are also bad for a second. But I was stuck next to that door. There was nowhere for me to go. I absolutely had to use my knife there. Drop this for challenge bait. What's the guard? And we're kind of stuck in the same position we were earlier, uh, waiting for that guy to leave. I could hack his radio. I could be a little cheeky. Uh, but I don't think that'll be enough time to finish this hack and then get up that forklift and leave. Good. Now get the components back to the truck as fast as you can. Call an overkill weapon. The stealthiest thing I can do. All right, I pick up the degradable device, and then because I'm leaving and not coming back, I can sprint. Because these people who hear me, they don't know me. Guard over there. They don't know what I can do, and they'll never find me because I am leaving. Oh, good, that's still hacked. And we'll hack his radio because we are still degrading. And while I don't care about an A-plus rating, 
Oh, oh god, I was gonna say I may What's as well the get the B if it's possible. But as there's a guard right there in front of me, he needs to leave this exact second or we're not gonna get it. Spotted a guard. Nope, he's not leaving. And I don't have any more throwing knives because we were in that dicey situation just a moment ago. So we're gonna go to full degradation. It's not the end of the world, this shit happens. With the prototype bags, I for sure got the first one in as an A. I think I probably got that one in as an A. Maybe, maybe a B. You can check for any additional valuables oh. as a bonus. Otherwise, oh, over there. forgot my final objective. And get it ready to roll. I hack unfortunately on cooldown. There's a god. I could just slide this, but it's one of those things where if I was doing this for my own for me, I would just slide this. Who cares? Also, if it goes live, like, who cares? Okay. But we're here. recording a guide, right? Where is this guard? Okay, he's guard? still inside. He changes his patrol route at this part of the map and stands out here and, like, looks at our escape. Yeah, he's going to come down that. Maybe I can show it off. No, I've already left. He'll jump out of that and stand there, and that's where his route is. So you have to be very careful of lead guard at the end. Especially if you're moving money. It's a really great way to do that first if you're going to do the full pull. That way he's over there and he's away from the inside of the wall. So you can ferry stuff over the wall much easier. If you're going to kill any guards, you kill like the two guards that were hanging out right next to where I was doing all the security stuff. That way they're out of the way. You find a shipping container that opens, you put the bodies in it, you shut the shipping container and no one will ever find them. It lets you run that much quicker, go back and forth a lot faster. And lets you get all the money. But that's what the map looks like. It's a very easy way to do the map. The map itself is pretty easy. I hope that helped out for you guys. 99 boxes, if I'm being honest, is my least favorite map right now. It takes really long. It doesn't pay off. Maybe the best compared to some other things. And there's just not a lot going on for it that super engages me. Especially with how fast those prototype bags degrade. They were a little slower and you could really get a good race going for the, the A every time. I'd probably like it a lot more. But that was 99 boxes. I hope it helped you guys out a lot. And I'm going to move on to the next map. Have a good one. Later.